Hey guys, in this video I'm talking about color IDs, what they are, why you need them and how to use them in Blender and Substance Painter. So what are color IDs and why do we need them as 3D artists? Well, have you ever had a complex model made up of multiple parts where you want each of these different parts to have a different material? A common mistake beginners make when tackling this problem, myself included, is they will think, well I need multiple materials so I'll make multiple materials then assign them in Blender to different parts of the geometry. But in doing so, we're using up precious computing resources to load multiple shader stacks, materials, and image textures. Although this might be fine if you're just working in Blender with procedural materials or small scenes, it can get very confusing and complex down the track if you want to start texturing your models in something like Substance Painter. You don't want something using 4 or 5 different 4K texture sets when it could be done in one. Wouldn't it be great if we had a way to mask out these parts of our mesh so we could apply materials in a software like Substance Painter to the parts we want while keeping things all in one image texture? Well, lucky for us, this is where color IDs come in. Rather than a black and white mask, which is limited to only luminance, we're able to take advantage of all three RGB channels and alpha through a color mask. For my workflow as a prop artist, these are often baked into the vertex colors of the mesh. Vertex colors or V colors are RGB and alpha values stored within the vertex data of a mesh and are often used for a large range of effects and workflows. In this case, we can store our color ID or mask in these V colors while we are in Blender and then access them in another software like Substance Painter to produce and bake a image texture of our color mask. This makes life a whole lot easier and allows us to have a huge amount of easy control over what part of an object gets what texture. Now if that sounds a bit complex, don't worry, it's super easy. First off, we need this amazing free Blender add-on called Text Tools. You can download it here or in the link in the description. Go ahead and install that like you would any Blender add-on. Assuming you already know how to UV unwrap, make sure every part of your mesh you want included in this material is on the same UV channel, just like this. Next, let's select the parts of the mesh we want included in our mask. So I'm going to come into face select mode and select this top face here. Then in the UV unwrap workspace, press N to open up this panel. And under text tools, color ID, I'm going to press the assign color button. This will apply red to everything in our model. So I'm going to press it again for blue to assign blue to the top face. Now that that's done, if we come over to our materials tab, we can see it's created two new materials for us, one red and one blue. So once they're created, we can go back into the text tools panel and we can convert from materials to vertex colors. That's it, we've baked our color ID into our vertex colors. So let's go back into the layout, select our model and go file, export, as FBX. Make sure limited to selected objects is selected and save it on your system. So now let's look at how we can use those vertex colors in Substance Painter to create a color mask. Let's come up here, create a new file. And now let's select the model we just exported. We can leave everything as is, that's okay. Now hit okay and load it in. It's just a cube, nothing fancy. But in order to create that color ID, we need to do something called baking mesh maps. And to do that in Substance Painter, we come into our texture set, oh, sorry, come into our texture set settings and hit bake mesh maps. And this will open our baking panel. Now up here, we can see our output size is set to 512. I'm gonna change that to 1024 by 1024. And I'm not gonna talk about anything else in here, just color IDs, because otherwise this will be a very long video. So we can hit the color ID mesh map and we're going to change the color source or the source of the color ID to our vertex color because that's where we baked it in in Blender. Now if we hit bake selected textures, it'll go through and bake all those. We can hit OK now that it's done and you can actually see already that our color ID is red and blue. But to further test it, we can change our display settings to only show our color ID. And there we go, it's exactly what we set in Blender, our red and our blue. 
So up here in the layers panel, let's say we wanted to add a plastic cable to the top face so we can drop that, uh, drop that material in. Then right click on the material, add mask with color selection, and we can pick a color down here. So I'm gonna pick blue. And as you can see, it's worked perfectly and applied that material purely to the blue part of our model. Now let's say we wanted to put this plastic fabric on the part around the cube, so we can add that in and do the same thing. Right click on the material, add mask with color selection, and then pick color. I'm gonna choose the red, and it's worked perfectly. That's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed and maybe even learned a thing or two. If you wanna see more of this content like this in the future, get subscribed and let me know what you think down below. Thanks. Ah.